Hey guys, welcome back to Houston Kilby YouTube channel. I'm Houston Kilby, and as you guys can tell, we are hooked up. We got the Ghetto Force One ready to roll out and go down to the Hoopty Kings car show. But for this episode, I want to show y'all uh, some behind the scenes of how I built some organization things for the trailer. Um, every time we go on a trip, I keep seeing things and finding things that uh, we got to do better on so it's quicker to load up and it's not so hard to try to figure out how we're going to strap everything down so in this episode let's go here and look at it here real quick so i'm going to show you guys how i built this caddy for my fuel jugs okay uh you guys will get to see that and we'll walk on back here to the back and i made a jack holder and a ramp holder as well because i gotta have some shim ramp like things to get my car in this thing because it's so low but anyways, I'll show you guys how we made this right here as well. And it turned out pretty decent. But anyways, I'll show you all how I took some scrap metal laying around the shop. And uh, we repurposed it and used it. And uh, didn't have no waste there. And the little waste we did have, a lot better than what it was before. So just big old stuff just sitting in the corner. So uh, I was able to use it. I'm happy about that. And oh, we also put in... Um, uh, some mounts for my spare tires. I didn't do any footage on that. Uh, we just used some of those Harbor Freight uh, mounting systems there. I'll put some pictures up of that to show you guys what we used, but it's pretty simple. Uh, just mount it into your studs and you're in good shape and you can mount your spare tire up against the wall of your trailer. But anyways, uh, that's it for us. Let's get on in this episode here. Now let's rock and roll. Alrighty guys, so uh, let's rock and roll here. So I had some diamond plate that was left over from when we put the diamond plate on the short bus there. And uh, so I got my dimensions together of what all it was gonna take uh, to make like a little caddy to hold all my fuel jugs together here. And uh, we're gonna make this deal happen. Uh, so we're gonna take it over here to the Harbor Freight uh, brake and we're gonna bend this thing and uh, we're gonna get this thing all set up here. So it's basically gonna have like a C shape to it i'm just wanting to kind of caddy all these fuel jugs together and uh, keep them held together and use a ratchet strap to keep them tethered to the wall all right so up next here this is a mount for um, our jack system uh, we got a little box here we're going to tack up together that bent out and uh, once we get done welding this deal all together here we'll see what this thing looks like at the end so heck yeah guys let's rock and roll all right, guys, need to go ahead and give a quick shout out here of the, for the drawing for the winner who gets to ride with us tomorrow. So let's check this thing out here real quick. All righty, guys, uh, welcome back here. Uh, Houston here and Jesse. Yeah, man. Uh, we are about to do the random drawing here for the ride along tomorrow at the Hoopty Kings Car Show. Uh, we're going to put the random wheel here on, and me and Jesse's about to watch and see who the winner is going to be here. All right, so here we go, Jesse. Let's see who's going to be here real quick. All right, the wheel is a turning. It's on the move. Who's it going to be? Wham, bam. Let's see here. There it Pat is. Pat Woodfin, man. You bam. are the winner. All right. So tomorrow we're going to holler at Pat tonight and uh, tell him about tomorrow and stuff and hopefully he'll be able to come on out and we'll yeah, have a good man. time. We got a little price pack together for him and uh, he'll get to do a ride along with us around the neighborhood there at the Hoopty Kings Car Show yes, down sir. at Jonesboro Armory. So we hope to see you all there tomorrow. Come yeah. down and support, buy t-shirts and have a good old time. So we'll <laughs> see y'all tomorrow. All right, guys, so we're getting ready for the Hoopty Kings car show, and I wanted to do a little episode here on the little jack caddy and stuff I built there. Um, just out of some scrap sheet metal we had left over. It holds my little ramps that I got to use. I got to use these little ramps right here as a shim on the door, and it keeps from the front end from dragging when it comes up onto the uh, door here. But Anyways, guys, uh, this worked out really good, cheap and effective. Also put um, a wall mounting system on for spare tires. So I've got one for the bus. Yeah, it's 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 rough looking, but at least I got something there. And then we got a brand new spare tire. Big, big shout out to At Your Convenience on-site oil services for our spare tire for our trailer. We can't thank them guys enough. Uh, so that's what that looks like there. Let's go up to the front, let you guys see where the fuel jugs look like up there. All right, so let's walk on up there. 
We've been full sand right now. We actually had to take the bed off of the golf cart <laughs> so it would fit up in there uh, with the car in there. But anyways, uh, so there's the rack caddy holder for our fuel jugs. Uh, the fuel jugs are now all held in there real good. And uh, the golf cart's in there. Um, the fuel drum's over there. We mounted, um, our air compressor is now mounted to the table over there, um, but it can come on and off, of course. And I also put a pit pal on uh, my trailer. Uh, this one was actually gave to me uh, by uh, my Uncle Sam, so big shout out to him. And uh, that helped us out there. So I got that mounted to my trailer now. And, uh, but yeah, guys, it's a tight fit, but it works. We got the old GTO in there. Got the golf cart in there, generator, all of our stuff. Uh, we need to cut down the straps and stuff uh, that's permanently fitted for this car. Uh, I got the back ones done, but we just need to cut the front ones down now so we don't have to fight with that so much. But yeah, guys, we're getting ready for the Hoopty Kings event at uh, Jonesboro Armory. Hope to see you guys there. I uh, hope this episode actually goes up before um the event actually happens it just depends on how youtube does on posting stuff but i thought you guys be interested in seeing how i made some of my own organizers it's cheap uh effective and uh, it didn't cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars it was literally scrap i had left over and uh yeah guys all right guys so completely destroyed uh, a full metal goat shirt here working and stuff but i normally try to use the same old old one when i'm fabricating and stuff anyway so i don't just keep killing them but anyways guys uh thank you all for following along uh definitely comment down below if y'all have suggestions uh or have suggestions for me when it comes to organization in the race car trailer uh when it comes to tools when it comes to your generator uh when it comes to you know anything that y'all can think of that you see that i got going on it might be better um, that you guys do uh, let me know about it heck even email it to me facebook picture it to me whatever y'all want to do or just tell me about it i appreciate it uh, but anyways guys we got the old rig set up here we got the the ghetto force one hooked up and we're ready to roll here but anyways thank y'all so much for watching this episode um hope y'all got enjoyment out of you know me fabricating my own organization stuff for the trailer here uh, to save some bucks and uh keep investing it back into the car but anyways let's go have some fun we'll see y'all this sunday and uh can't wait to have some fun with this whole thing at the show see y'all there thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed to the channel don't forget to go over to killmersports.com where we've got all kinds of merch over there and all kinds of high performance products as well and definitely a big shout out to our sponsors and partners. Till next time, you guys have a good one.